Hi, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we've got a really fun clip. It's wild, it's out there. It was sent to me by Denise and her cute little puppy Bronco. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got ourselves a Karen in court and she is out of control. Let's do it. Good morning. How are you all? Good morning. How are you? Morning. Are we waiting on anybody? No. Okay, what well, can I do to help you all today? Yes, sir. Get, uh, get us off of your docket is what you could do. Okay. But go ahead, Lacey. Start that's, talking. That's pretty specific. Ms. Kimball? Yes, it's sir. Specific. Go ahead, Ms. Kimball. Uh, a custody evaluation was completed, and so we have filed a motion for drug screening and a motion for a psychological exam based upon that custody evaluation recommendations. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, talking. You'll be able to respond in just a second. Ms. Kimball, you can go ahead and finish, and then Ms. Styles, you'll have an opportunity to respond in just a minute. I need to pause the hearing. I don't have an attorney. Can you give me some time to get an attorney? Oh, she's just getting started. Uh, the entitlement is off the charts. Um, I haven't had time to, I haven't had adequate time to obtain an attorney and my attorney withdrawed and I'm going to need one appointed by the state. There's not, that's not an option. This isn't a criminal case. I believe it's uh, It's a custody issue. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but it, it, I think it's emanating out of, out of divorce. So you don't get a court appointed attorney and uh, your attorney didn't withdraw it. <laughs> and don't forget to hit like and subscribe or the dogs get it. There's nothing there unless someone's asking that someone be held in contempt and jailed, which is not something that's set in front of me. Um, or it's an action by the state to terminate a parental a parent rights or something like that. Those are the only times I have the ability to appoint an attorney for you. Okay, then go ahead. Uh, well, she more than qualifies for contempt, as you'll see. Uh, maybe that would be a good idea. Uh, hit her with a good contempt charge and then appoint her a, a, a public defender. At least that, At least then you'd have somebody reasonable to talk to. Uh, we also had sent discovery out uh, as laid out in our motion some time back. Uh, I had worked with Ms. Stiles' prior counsel and had agreed to two extensions, um, and then we uh, ultimately never got a response, and she filed a protect motion for protection. She got plenty of responses. Objection. What's your objection? Hold on. Wait a second. Um, Ms. Stiles, you just need to object. And then let me know what your objection is. Don't yell at her. Objection to hearsay. I have. Let me. How do I submit my documents to you directly? Hold on. So, um, Ms. Kimball, are you saying this was something that happened between counsel? Uh, yes, back in November. Um, we are now setting our this hearing as for our motion. She to also represents and also fucking sit there. And so, um, Ms. Stiles, I'll unmute you in just a second. You need to let Ms. Kimball finish what she's saying, and then when you're talking, she'll let you say what you're saying, unless one of you has an objection that is a legal objection. Um, you can't just talk about the other side. So, Ms. Kimball, why don't you just go ahead and finish telling me what, so you said that you're wanting uh he's he's too mellow for my taste but it's he's mellow to the point where it's comical it, it really is he's just got ice in his veins he doesn't care about any of this stuff i i would uh you'll see as pro progresses she, she's done enough already she, she'd be she'd be in contempt I, i'd be sending uh, deputies out at this point she's uh she's been swearing she's been interrupting people she's shown direct contempt of court it's certainly within his discretion he can handles it handle it as he sees fit i just wouldn't have the patience for that at all. I did, there's just no way. Uh, um, a drug screen, so a drug test, and do you say psychological or psychiatric? I thought you said a psychological test. exam. And then uh, we have a order to compel to compel Ms. Stiles to turn over uh, the responses to our discovery request. 
see right there is probably why he's he's being lenient with her is because he's he's re requesting a psychological evaluation or she is the the attorney for for uh uh ryan there so you know he he probably wants to tread lightly because he's not sure if she's psychologically um competent to deal with this situation my my guess and i don't know and i would certainly i would be open to an evaluation from a professional because i'm not but uh my gut instinct is she's perfectly competent she's just nasty and entitled uh, to provide dates for a deposition and for attorney's fees for one thousand five hundred dollars all right so ms styles i'm sending you a prompt to unmute if you just unmute yourself you can respond um, what is your response to those things? Let's go with the drug screening part. Do you have an objection to taking a drug test? I'm not going to pay for it because I'll tell you up front, I'll fell for marijuana. When was the last but time? But I'm happy to take it on When was the last spent. time you took marijuana? I use marijuana daily. All day, every day. Oh boy, I mean that, that's an issue. I, I believe they're in Texas, and it's not legal there. And if you don't believe me, just go just go over to Derek Wyatt's uh, uh, <laughs> site. He's got a nice song called "In Texas It's Still Illegal," and uh, that that that's where we're at. And she and she's announcing in court that basically I, I flagrantly break the law. Uh, a lot of people do, but you don't announce it in court. And it's legal in what states? California. So we can either get there or not get there. Your choice tonight. Um, so I will, I'm glad oh, to take stop, the drug stop, test. Stop, stop. Okay, go. It's going to be on his stop, expense, stop, but I'm, stop, stop. I'm pretty low key. Um, we're in court. Fed up with you, Ms. Kimball. You, you need to be respectful. So I'm fed you can just if you're use my last name. That's okay. fine. Just say Judge Tonic. Okay. It's pretty easy. Um, okay. So you use marijuana all day, every day. Not really every day, every day, but I use it daily, if that helps you with your interpretations. Wow, I feel bad for Ryan. Can you imagine being married to that woman? Mr. Loki, honorable judge tonight. I'm not interpreting. I just said what you said. Hey. Um, what is your response to the request for a psychological evaluation? I'm not doing it, and you cannot force me to do it. You cannot physically make me go and show up and partake in anything that I do not want to partake in, yes or no. I would take that as a challenge. <laughs> Why don't I go ahead and write that on this order and see how it works out? Do you agree or not agree? Uh, you don't get to ask me questions right now. I'm asking okay. your that's I'm asking response. well played position. That's my response to you. Okay. You will not get any I'm not doing a psych eval and you cannot make it mandatory. Interesting. Um in terms of the motion to compel, they're talking about discovery. What's your response to their um, motion to compel? Have you read their discovery? When are you going to view my videos? Ma'am, you need to answer my question. I answered your goddamn question. All right. Um, so I'm going to warn you that it is completely inappropriate to um, swear like that in court. You need to take yourself, um, you need to put yourself back on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not going to allow that. So if you do that again, I'm going to um, sanction you $100 for every time that you swear in court um, because that's not appropriate. You just need to not do it. You can answer the question and be respectful to Ms. Kim. Is she muted right now? I, I, I mean, you, even even while she's being held in contempt, I, I, it appears that she's muted because she's running her mouth and I'm not hearing it. And to the court. And um, I'm not going to tell you how to answer, but you can just say whether or not you're in agreement with something. In terms of the motion to compel, they, I haven't heard it yet. Um, so I'm just trying to find out from a cursory standpoint what your position is on these four issues so that I can figure out um, if there are partial agreements or not. It sounds like there aren't. Um, so based upon your response, I'm going to take it that you're not in agreement with their motion to compel. Um, 
in terms of their request for deposition dates. What's your response to that? I see you have a prompt to unmute yourself. What dates? Ms. Kimball, do you have uh, proposed dates? I can. I would propose. And whose expense? Mine? Because if it's mine, I'm not fucking doing it. Sanction. Give me a hundred dollar fee. Woo woo. Okay, well, so um, I am finding you in direct contempt. Okay. One fine. I'm finding you a hundred dollars. Okay. Make it two. Damn. I said two words. Ma'am, I don't think you want to do this. Um, at least the people in the courtroom seem to think you don't want to do this. Um, I will not because you're requesting it, but because you're not following the order. Um, as I said, sanction you. Please do. Let me do it. So that's Please. turn on. Here, I'm sure she wants my apartment number, right? Turn it to Miss um, Kimball. You're gonna stop. want. Stop. That's not something that she asked for. Um, Miss Kimball, what dates? No. What they dates everybody else. I would propose August 30th or September 2nd. Okay. How long? Um, are you wondering how, how long? That's a valid question. Is it half day, an hour, two hours? What are you anticipating? I would anticipate a full day. That's that's only because of who she's dealing with. I, th 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 this type of hearing w would usually take about an hour, but <laughs> but not with uh, not with this uh, Amanda. Um, so what the thirtieth or the second? Yep. Which of those dates works better for you, Miss Styles? What time, dumbass? Three contempt. You're correct. That is three. Yep. Oh to start at 9 a.m. What date? Mm, so that question is to you. Uh, never I mind. said what I'm time? Gonna, time, you date? Think. You know, these I'm things. You look, uh, you don't get to do this for your own pocketbook. I'm muting you for, all right, I'm going to count that as um, another violation. So in terms of the request, for the deposition, um, she didn't. Okay, so I think what's really going on here is is they're doing a discovery schedule on uh, on some stuff for involving. Again, I believe it's a custody case because I watched the rest of it, and they, they do a bunch of reasonable stuff in the, in that sense. So basically, it's a civil matter. I don't think he's uh, this judge is accustomed to seeing a lot of this sort of behavior. This is out of the norm, and and he's just not comfortable ringing her up because he's not used to it. Pe people usually don't do that. They're you know you know in this context, the defendants are, are are facing loss of liberty and going to jail and stuff already, so that they they can get a little crazier. Uh, more often, but you know he's he's just too nice in in that he's he's accustomed to dealing with attorneys and people who are trying to uh, get their way, and and when you're doing that, you don't act this way. Have any objections? I don't know for the my own record that she uh, opted out after flipping me off. Um, I won't comment. So I'm going to grant the request for. Um, August the 30th at 9 a.m. in your office. Well, there you have it. Uh, maybe the most obnoxious court appearance in the history of Law Talk with Mike. I'm not sure. There's been some bad ones, but that that was the definition of contempt. I mean, she she was based, she was telling the judge directly, I have no respect for you or this court. Please hold me in contempt. You can't do anything that, that you say that you're suggesting, those sorts of things. It, it was absolutely unbelievable. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court and every once in a while and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.